Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.3 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is find IL in milliamperes in the circuit in figure P5.3. So this is the figure and we have an op M there. Okay, maybe let's name this node before the op M here as node A. Okay, and this node here as node B. Okay. And remember that the input of op M have the same voltage. So that is the first the first thing that we need to know, which is VA is equal to VB. Okay. Now let's assume the direction of the current, or maybe let's label this first. This is 5 volt from the ground, so this is 5. However, the sign is negative, so I will have minus 5 here. And here, this is 6 volt from the ground, so I will have 6 there. And the sign is positive, so I will have positive 6 here. Okay, and let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right, this is going to the right, this is going down, and this is going to the right, and maybe this is going down here. And let's name this node here as P0, okay? Okay, now let's do KCL at node A. Okay, KCL at node A. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is this one here, right? So I will have minus 5 minus VA divided by 3 and that is for this current here and the current that goes into the op M is 0 right so I will have plus 0 and that will equal to 0 and then plus we will have this one here that the only current that goes out so I will have VA minus V0 divided by C right okay good maybe now let's multiply both sides by 6 to get rid of the denominator here 3 and 6 will cancel into 2 so I will have minus 10 then minus 2 PA okay 0 I don't need to write it anymore because 0 plus something is just something and this 6 and 6 will cancel each other so we will have PA minus V0. Okay, let's simplify. So I will have 3VA minus V0. That will equal to minus 10. Okay, good. Okay, maybe let's have this as equation number. Okay, let's do another KCL, but this time at node B. KCL at not B. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in into not B is this one. So we will have 6 minus VB divided by 10. Right? And then the current that goes into the op M will equal to 0. So I will have this will equal to 0 plus this current here, which is Vb minus 0. And then divided by 5. Right? 5. Okay, we can multiply both sides by 10 to cancel out the denominator. So we will have 6 minus Vb and that will equal to 5 and 10 will cancel into 2. So I will have 2 Vb here and so we will have 3 Vb is equal to 6 and therefore Vb is equal to 2 volt. Okay, what a nice number. And because Vb and Va is equal, we will have Va, right? 
So we will have PA. PA is equal to VB. Therefore, PA is equal to 2 volt. PA is equal to 2 volt. Okay, we got VA. Now we can get V0 from equation 1. Let's write that from equation 1. Okay, from equation 1, we can get 3VA minus V0. 3VA minus V0 is equal to minus 10, right? And let's substitute 2 into VA here. So we'll have 3 multiplied by 2 minus P0 is equal to minus 10. And so this will equivalent to 6 minus P0. That will equal to minus 10. And therefore P0 is 6 plus 10. So we will have P0 is equal to 16. 16 volt. Okay, so VA is 2 volt, VB is 2 volt, and P0 is 16 volt. However, we are asked about IL. IL is the current that passes through this 8 kilo ohm resistor. But we know V0, V0 is 16 volt. That should be easy. We can use Ohm's law. So let's write that, finding IL. Okay, what is IL? IL is V0 minus 0. IL is equal to V0 minus 0 divided by 8 kilo. Right? And V0 is 16, so I will have 16 minus 0 divided by 8. And 16 minus 0 is just 16 divided by 8. So therefore, that will be 2. And the unit, the unit here, remember that 16 is volt and 8 is kilo ohm. So volt divided by kilo ohm is milliampere. So we will have this as our final. So, so the value of IL is 2 milliampere. Okay, let's highlight that as our final answer here and that is the answer for problem 5.3 from Nielsen and Reader book thank you for watching and then see you in the next video bye bye